phone. All right. I am. So I would suggest you to use a, a Bluetooth headset if you have one, but you don't have to have um, use one. It's just very um, helpful because then the music is going to be right into your ears and you're going to be um, less distracted and it's going to kind of penetrate more into into your brain. The music it was specifically designed um, to hit certain brain waves to help you to enter the state of meditation. And um, it's not really about like liking the music, but just that you know that it was specifically designed. So it's not just a random and uh, random tracks which are used for for this meditation. Um, what else can I suggest? Um, a blindfold, if you have one, it could be like a sleeping mask or or like a little um, a little scarf or something. You don't have to wear it, but it's also very helpful, not only because it keeps the light out and keeps kind of the outside world out, but also it lies on the eyelids and just like the little pressure on the eyelids helps as well to calm down the nervous system. All right, I think... Yes, so I will just go on now with everything else. What else? Comfortable clothes. So like in general, like just always like if you feel like you want to um, drop anything right now, like or put a different T-shirt on, um, that is now the time to do so. Um, what else? Um, yes, so here behind me, you can see I prepared myself a chair. There's going to be a silent part. You don't need a chair. If you are comfortable sitting... <clears throat> on the floor and a cross-like position, I would always advise to sit against something like a wall, because even though the silent part is um, 10 minutes, uh, it is better to have something behind you than to sit in the middle of the room and then get like all rounded. The spine should be uplifted. So if you know that you're a little bit tighter in the hips or you're not um, comfortable in a cross-like position, I rather would say grab a chair so that you can sit upright. So prepare somewhere a chair for yourself. Um, the silent part, I mean, it's not really cold right now, but the silent part, um, be warm enough in sitting. And um, yeah, so that you can just, that you don't need anything. So have everything ready for the silent part as well. Uh, so the Kundalini meditation is an active meditation practice. Active means that it starts with activity and then leads into passivity, which is the silent part. It has four stages. The original meditation is one hour long. Um, for a lot of people, this is a too long of a time commitment. So I asked my cousin, which is the sound designer, to reduce it to a half hour. So just that you know, I kind of made it more accessible so that I can give it as a teaser and to introduce it to people. But uh, on Spotify or on YouTube, you can find the full version, which is one hour. But if you want to have the half hour version, I'm happy to send it to you so that you can just use it for at home. So I'm offering this meditation practice to all of you because I would like you to just take it and then do it on your own as well. And um, every Wednesday for the next 10 weeks, we do it together. And if you have questions in between, you're welcome to email me and um, I can answer also questions so that you can get used to it <clears throat> and maybe to motivate you to have like something. Um, for me, meditation, especially Kundalini meditation, it's the same like for your body, you're taking a shower, like to, to like kind of wash the day off. For my mind, it was always like a mental shower. And it really helped me to get clear, like especially when you come after work. This is a meditation which um, originally was designed for around like sunset time. So like kind of the day is finishing and um, you want to like calm down for the evening or even like switch the mood, you know, if you have like some um, some things to do in the evening um, to just um, kind of like clean out your mind. If you practice it more regularly, it really helps to reduce, um, you know, mental activity. Sometimes we have, have a lot of um, mental activity from work when you come home or like, uh, you know, when you're talking like lo a lot of social um, activities or social talking and you need just a little break. This is a very nice, helpful tool. Um, what else? Um, our oh, breath. 
So in the silent part, I suggest, and I will mention it to you, to breathe through the nose. So when we have the silent parts at the end, breathe through your nose and let the belly just completely go and let the be belly just like with the breathing just rise and fall. In the active part, I suggest always to keep the lips a little bit open and you can even sigh. So the, the, the active part is shaken and dancing. I will go into that in a moment, but you can, you're welcome to do something like, you know, like to just like really let go, you know, like let go of any tension. And sometimes like the sighing helps to let go, like helps to let go of the jaw, helps to let go of, of just, you know, like any tensions around the neck and into the head. So I, I invite you like to make sounds. Um, I will mute you so you, we will not hear each other and you're welcome to keep the camera off. I will keep mine on. So you, I mean, we, we will have the eyes closed or you should have the eyes closed, but you don't have to have the eyes closed. Um, and if you kind of wanna like check, you know, like I gonna be there and doing it. So then you can always, check not that you uh, copy me but you know like that you know like okay this is where we at um so like i said the meditation has four stages three of those stages are with music and the last stage is completely silent and the first stage is shaking um so i want to show it to you so shaking you know shaking is a really nice tool um, when we have any tension in the body and also in the mind, because it's all connected, it's all interconnected with the body, uh, shaking kind of releases tension. So even like animals, when they are having fear or anything, they start like dogs or something, they start, start to shake because this is how they're releasing the tension out of the body. Um, we want to, in meditation, find a shaking which is not really forced, and I want you to just keep in mind, so maybe let's come all to standing that you can just try it out for yourself. So um, that you have like a stance, which is like a little bit wider than your hips. The knees are a little bit bent. Let me like put my camera a little bit down. And if you see me from the side, I have my knees a little bit bent. So the spine, our spine, which is inside our body starts with our tailbone, which is right here and just goes up and we want to kind of awaken most importantly our pelvic area our like base of our spine so in order to do that because most of us are not necessarily belly dancers or belly dancer um, you you can give a little bit of a softening in the knees and a kind of like a pressure so that you kind of a bouncing you know like a little child which is like dancing and they're like usually bouncing so you start kind of uh, with a little bouncing so that you can maybe feel a little bit of a movement also in the pelvis like in this area and you can do it of course in this in this way too but as you can see if i do try to shake sideways it's a little bit stiff so in order to keep a kind of like a bounciness around the shaking i would advise you to push into the feet and to, to find a little bouncing. And then in between check in that you're not forcing it. So it should not be like kind of this kind of like, oh, okay, I have to shake right now, but just see, can you find a little bounce and then let the body just bounce with that. Imagine always this shaking going from the down towards the up. So if you could imagine like a energy or some light or anything, you would always imagine it to rising up your spine towards the ceiling so that's about the shaking and you can really like you can move uh, it's not only that the pelvis has to move but this pelvis is kind of animating the rest of the spine to shake and um, and you're going up and up and up you can release a little bit your lips you can move your head and then just like feel in with the body just you know like with the music the next stage is dancing and dancing is um, you using the music not to do any specific movement patterns, but you let the body just like the music will switch. And I will just say also like with my own voice in that moment, like now the music part is start, starting. So just see if you can feel the music and let the body move with the music. So it's like a little child 
which never heard music and then you put the music on and the child never saw how dancing is performed and then they're just startling to sway or to move the hands to move the head you can do whatever comes up and be just free in between maybe the body doesn't want to move but let it just go with the music so that is the second part and all those first parts like the shaking and the dancing are preparing us for the most silent part. So then the music would switch again, which is the third part, which is the sitting part. So you sit in any comfortable situation. Most importantly is that you have an uplifted spine. Let the hands just be on your lap. Let the shoulders rest. I'm going to like remind you then you will hear my voice saying like what to do or what not to do. And then just keep your mouth closed, breathe through the nose and bring, if, if your mind drifts off, go back to the breathing. Just go back to like inhalation, exhalation, so that you distract your mind from thinking and bringing it back to the present moment, bringing it back to physical sensations. And a breath is one of the physical sensations. It's the easiest to grasp because we can hear our breath, we can feel our breath, we noticing that something is moving with our breath. And the music will help you because it's going to take your mind on a little bit journey. So it's going to help you to sit. When the music stops for our fourth stage, which is the silent stage, if you feel comfortable and you feel like I don't want to move, you stay seated. But at any time where you feel like, oh, my foot falls asleep or I don't feel comfortable or I'm like getting tired, lie down for the last stage. And um, the meditation is finished when you hear a gong. There will be no discussion or anything after. When you hear the gong, you can stay lying. You can turn to the side and come up in your own time. I'm going to just switch off um, Zoom. So you're going to be on, the own, on your own after the meditation. What I can just suggest to you, since we were meditating for a half hour, maybe stay off of your electronics or, you know, like, calm down read a book or do something else like use that and see like how you're sleeping maybe afterwards like after doing the meditation let me see if i forgot something um i think that was all um yes um exactly and i will mute everybody you're welcome to keep the camera on you can switch it off and um i'm gonna just do a little uh, test here right now i will run the music and uh, let me know if you can hear the music. Um, one moment, let me see, where are you all? Uh, can you hear the music in the background? Okay, perfect. Let me switch it off. All right, so I'm switching off the recording. So, hi everyone, have a good meditation.